What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and today we're going to be talking about all faction tiers, missions, and rewards over in DMZ. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below because you're very close to 100,000 subscribers here on the main channel. Really appreciate it. Also drop a like and turn notifications on to stay up to date with everything going on in Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, Warzone Mobile, and any other future Call of Duty as well. Now obviously there's an option at the DMZ menu to preview all tier missions. It's currently a bit bugged. So what we've done here is laid out all the challenges and rewards on a Google Doc. Shout out to Medenas over on Twitter for the assist with this breakdown. I personally don't think that all these missions were meant to be completed so soon, but hey, there's definitely some hardcore players out there who are up for the challenge and have gotten through nearly all tiers for the three different factions. All right, so starting off with Legion Tier 1, as it says, make contact, use your tac map, and ping a contract phone, find a contract phone, download the intel, and the reward for that is 30 minutes of double player XP and 5,000 XP. You guys probably know what the gist is with some of these earlier challenges for Tier 1. Locate and scavenge, uh, you get the private emblem 5,000 XP, Alcatala Informant, activate one UAV tower. The reward is an M4 contraband weapon and 5,000 EXP. So once again, a contraband weapon is as simple as just a basic weapon with no attachments. They go straight into your contraband stream that you can see over in your backpack at the menu. That's all that is. Not a blueprint or anything special whatsoever. Storm the stronghold, acquire a key card, clear the stronghold of enemy combatants, and then extract the white Lotus Intel found on stronghold guards. The reward for that is the Pendulum Tech V blueprint with 5,000 XP. So I'll put that image on screen of what the blueprint looks looks like but then for legion tier 2 big spender acquire 60 g's in cash and then spend 60 g's at a shop and the reward for that is a cavern boat dock shack key bit of a tongue twister and 7500 xp buried barrels complete one secure radioactive material contract and then loot for items from the radioactive caches you'll get the spr 208 contraband and 7500 xp there then for junker destroy six vehicles and the reward is a private calling card also 7500 xp you get lots of xp from dmz Definitely make sure you guys go through these. We also have anti-air. Capture a SAM site and wait for your captured SAM site to shoot down an airplane. Loot a drop, supply drop. And then the reward is a RPK contraband and 7,500 XP. Key elimination. Complete and eliminate the HVT contract. Fans of Outbreak from Cold War will remember this one. Loot a key found on the HVT or elsewhere. And then use a key to unlock a locked space. The reward for all that is a loading screen, which is crazy, and 7,500 XP. Data collection. Find the loot computer, extract four thumb drives, extract five hard drives, the Seagate ones, and then your reward for that is the FTEC Recon Contraband and 7,500 XP. Frame job. Purchase an LTV with a turret out of shop. Use the LTV turret to kill 10 enemies in the Akdar village. And the reward for that is the anonymous Koenig skin and 15,000 XP as well. Legion Tier 3, Fort Scout, travel to the fortress, loot 12 caches, and then kill 30 enemies in the fortress. Bots, not actual people. The reward for that is a 50 GS contraband and 10,000 XP. We then have Dead Drop, travel to Al Mazra City, deliver 20 pieces of lethal equipment to the dumpster Dead Drop in the Sarwana Hotel Alley, north of the Al Mazra City Post Office. The reward for that is the Traveler's Luggage Key and 10,000 XP. Commanding Intel, acquire a secure Intel contract. Complete secure intel contract to reveal the location of an enemy commander and then kill the commander. The reward for that is the observer's emblem and 10,000 XP. Again, a commander is the guy that pops up in that gunship that will start tracking you down. Just shoot him down. It's that simple. But then we have good fortune. Unlock room 302 in the top floor of the Sawa Hotel and then loot and extract the Golden Desert Eagle from that room in the Sawa Hotel. The reward you get for that is the Tac M Contraband and 10,000 XP. You can keep that Desert Eagle in your loadout though and bring it in as many matches as you can before you end up losing it if you ever disconnect or if you do get killed by an enemy squad but i covered this easter egg in a separate story i posted a few days ago we then have tactical extraction extract 13 gas grenades 11 flash grenades and seven snapshot grenades the reward for that is the bc toolbox key and up to 10,000 xp we then have the recon flyover acquire a recon drone tag 20 enemies with a recon drone at the half it port and then kill 30 enemy bots at the half it port as well the reward for that is the signal 50 contraband and 10,000 xp we then have no rushing, and yeah, it's a play on words, no rushing, right? Kill 10 enemies at the Al Malik Terminal with the Sakin MG38 with the 150-round box magazine and the Sashki Bipod. Shoot down three reinforcement choppers at the Al Malik Terminal with the Sakin MG38 with the 150-round box magazine and a Sashki Bipod. The reward for that is the Tycon Basilisk Blueprint and 20,000 XP. 
But now when it comes to Legion Tier 4, we have Pyromaniac deliver 20 gas cans to the dumpster dead drop at the train depot between Al Safwa Quarry and Rohan Oil. Also extract 24 Molotovs or Thermite Grenades, and then extract 23 Lighters, Comic Books, Bandages, or Documents. Bit of a typo there, excuse that. The reward is a double XP token and 15,000 XP. We then have Joyride, kill 30 enemies on the roof of a moving vehicle at Al Shireen Pass, and also kill 30 enemies while leaning out of a moving vehicle at Saraf Bay. The reward is a TACV Contraband and 15,000 XP. Intelligence Control have five UAV towers active at the same time, and the reward for that is a Hydroid Island Key and 15,000 XP. We then have Junkyard, destroy seven vehicles in close succession up to four times for a reward of the Observer's Cosmetic and 15,000 XP. Another typo, excuse that. And then last minute evac, acquire a durable gas mask, and then exfil three times using the final exfil with up to 60,000 cash. The reward is a double weapon XP token and 15,000 XP. That's a pretty difficult challenge if I'm honest with you. We then have Mechanic, deliver 26 blowtorch to the dumpster dead drop at the Mawaze section of Almazra, deliver 30 jumper cables to the dumpster dead drop at the same place, and then deliver 14 car batteries to the dumpster dead drop north of Al Malik. The reward is the RPK contraband. We then have Poison Well, acquire six gas grenades and one deployment and then throw six gas grenades into the open water wells in the Zarqua Hydra electric section of Almazra. The reward is the nice blood soaked operator skin there as you could see. But now moving on to Legion tier 5. We have all clear, unlock five strongholds in one single deployment and then clear five strongholds in that one deployment. The reward is the Lockman 762 contraband and 20,000 XP. We have all fired up, extract 3500 pistol slash SMG ammo, extract 6500 AR and LMG ammo and then extract 1200 100 shotgun ammo for a reward of that punishment cosmetic and 20,000 XP. We then have Battle Rivals. Kill 81 enemies with the FTAC Recon with a Thermo Optic X9 attached in Syed City. And then kill 30 operators with the FTAC Recon with a 419mm X, uh, EXF excuse me, barrel attached. And we then have the reward of the Relay Station Key and 20,000 XP. We then have Thirst for Knowledge. Complete five contracts, each in less than one minute. The reward is the Swamp Gas Boat Skin. I thought I said Swamp Gas, but no, Swamp Gas Boat Skin and 20,000 XP. We then have Good Prep. Deliver 90 gas masks to any dumpster dead drop, and then extract 100 radiation blockers for a reward of the Expedite 12 Contraband and 20,000 XP. We then have Contractual Obligations. Complete eight unique contracts in one single deployment for a reward of a Control Tower Key and 20,000 XP. Next up, nail in the coffin to round up this tier, park a vehicle at all four gas stations in Zarqua Hydroelectric, and then plant a charge at each gas station in Zarqua Hydroelectric with a parked vehicle. Uh, when all charges are set, climb to the second level of the radio tower in Zarqua, and then boom, explode. Reward is the Harbinger Blueprint and 40,000 XP there, as you can see on screen. But now moving on to White Lotus Tier 1. You're going to get the World Traveler Challenge, asking you to travel to six different points of interest in one single deployment for a reward of the M16 Contraband and 5,000 XP. We have Convenience, Full and Repair Vehicles at five different gas stations, and then Extract 7 Gas Cans. You're going to get the Kushak, Kushak Construction Warehouse Key and 25,000 XP. Badge of Honor, acquire the Basilisk Pistol and kill 13 enemies with that pistol using headshots, and you'll get a reward of a Basilisk Contraband and 5,000 XP. We have Health Conscience, Loot a medicine cabinet and extract nine stims and then extract with six bandages the reward is the white lotus emblem at 5,000 xp we have demolitions acquire a destroy supplies contract complete the contract open a safe you get a reward of a double weapon xp token and 5,000 xp fully encumbered extract with a full backpack and then the reward is the wrap eight contraband and 5,000 xp Flight Recon, land at a light helo, or excuse me, land a light helo at the Hafid Poor Telepad. Download the light helo's flight data path, and then extract the light helo's flight path data, and to get a reward of the Steel Ghost X13 Auto Blueprint and 10,000 XP. But then moving on to White Lotus Tier 2, we have Bombing Run, exfil with 6 killstreaks in 1 deployment, which might take you a while to set up, and the reward is a Quarry Worker's Lost Toolbox Key and 7,500 XP. Bag them and tag them, loot and extract four enemy dog tags, and then loot and extract two pieces of Black Mouse Intel from Rohan Oil, easy to find sitting on a shelf. The reward is the EBR-14 Contraband and 7,500 XP. Intel executed, activate five UAV towers, and then kill 20 enemies pinged by those towers. Could be AI or real people. You'll get the White Lotus Calling Card and 7,500 XP. Death from above, by precision airstrike, and then use that airstrike to kill 10 enemies. You get a key card for a stronghold and 7,500 XP. Hostage Rescue, complete a rescue hostage contract and exfil with that hostage evac helicopter. You get 30 minutes of XP, 700 XP as well. 
hit and run, run over 16 enemies with the vehicle, and then fully refuel and repair a vehicle at a gas station, you'll get the LAB 330 Contraband and 7500 XP. Coming towards the end, two birds, travel to Al Safwa Quarry, and then kill 18 enemies in the quarry, destroy two reinforcement helicopters in Al Safwa Quarry as well, for a reward of this nice looking Diffuse Zemo Operator Skin, plus 15,000 XP. White Lotus Tier 3, fast and strong. Unlock a stronghold door with the key card. Clear three strongholds each in under 15 seconds. After unlocking the stronghold, the reward is the Bryson 890 Contraband, 10,000 XP. Mall Rat, kill 20 enemies in the Syed City Mall without being downed. Kill three operators in the Syed City Mall. Those are three real people, not AI. And the reward is a double weapon XP token, 10,000 XP. Air Supremacy, control three SAM sites simultaneously. Low profile calling card and XP. Robin Hood, open three saves in one deployment, extract $100,000 on a single teammate in one deployment as well, and a reward is the Satik Poppy Farmer House Key, needed for Black Mouse Tier, tier, tier 2 Final Quest, excuse me, plus 10,000 XP. We have Medical Mule, deliver 20 stims to the dumpster dead drop northeast of Al Sam Cemetery, hope I typed that out right, deliver 10 emergency rations to a dumpster dead drop also north of the Al Samin Cemetery, extracts 5 self revives, the reward is the 556 Icarus Contraband and 10,000 XP. On Earth, acquire a key from the crane control room in El Safwa Quarry, then unlock the crane building base, and then extract the quarry operations folder in the crane control room for a reward of a warehouse key for the Kashak construction site at 10,000 XP. Pathfinder, loot the GPS tracker from the dumpster dead drop near the Syed City Mall, travel to every point of interest while carrying the GPS tracker in one deployment, that is crazy, then extract with that GPS tracker for a reward of the Horde Breaker Blueprint and 10,000 XP. White Lotus Tier 4, cover no concealment. Snapshot 8 enemies in locked strongholds using a snapshot grenade, then kill 20 enemies in locked strongholds for a reward of the Sawa Hotel Room 303 key plus 15,000 XP. So that's the room where you'll see the Gold Desert Eagle or the room next to it, if that makes sense. I think there is a key for room 302 as well, as we'll get to later. Uh, Omnivore, kill 35 armored enemies in Sawa Village, kill 15 enemies wielding riot shields in Almazra City, and then kill 4 enemy helicopters for a reward of the SO-14 Contraband and 15,000 XP. Hero Run, complete 3 rescue hostage contracts each in under 2 minutes, a reward is the Grey Matter Vehicle Skin and 15,000 XP. Grenade Supplier, deliver 7 proximity mines or claymores to the dumpster dead drop between Al Safwa Quarry and Rohan Oil, deliver 5 thermites to the dumpster dead drop, also over there, in Al Mazra City, in one deployment, extract 13 frag grenades in one deployment, you get a reward of a double XP token and 15,000 XP. Heavy Gunner, kill 25 enemies with the HCR-56 at Al Shireen Pass, and then kill 10 armored enemies with an HCR-56, the reward is the War for Peace calling card and 15,000 XP. We then have Supply Drop, deliver 30 tubes of toothpaste to the dumpster dead drop at the Mawaze Marsh gas station. Deliver 18 bottles of purified water to the dumpster dead drop in Almazra City. Another typo there. Let's go ahead and fix that. Deliver 25 canned food to the dumpster dead drop in Almazra City. Also a little uh, typo there, as you can see. That is Almazra, not Almaras, whatever that said. Reward is the MCPR 300 contraband, 15,000 XP. We then have Caved In. Enter the Riverside Caves in Satik Caves by the boat, loot and extract the smuggling records in the Riverside Caves in Satik Caves, and then place sensitive documents at the original location of the smuggling records in the same deployment. The reward for this is a nice anti-medic operator skin for Zemo and 35,000 XP. Okay, bit of a disclaimer now. Unfortunately, this final mission for Tier 4 is bugged. People out there are putting out several Reddit posts talking about how progress isn't tracking properly for this. So what that means is that unfortunately, Tier 5 isn't accessible for White Lotus. However, this video is going up before a fix has gone out for this mission. So what that means is that I will pin a comment down below whenever this mission does get fixed, let you guys know. And I will also pin a comment that does go through all tier five missions for White Lotus as well. Unfortunately, nobody out there in the world when I'm recording this is able to access any of the tier five missions for this specific faction, but that's okay. I'll pin the comment really, really soon and it'll be fine. But then we have Black Mouse tier one. Always listening. Pick up five radios dropped by neutralized AQ members. Kill 15 hostiles marked by radios. And the reward is the Lockman 762 Contraband and 5,000 XP. Weapons research. Complete one hunt contract. And then extract an enemy operator's weapons. The reward is no leadership, which is a calling card, plus 5,000 XP. Vintage Collection. Loot 12 liquor or wine bottles. And then sell 12 liquor or wine bottles at a shop. You get a stronghold key card, 5,000 XP. Cargo Keeper, complete a cargo delivery contract and then fully repair and refuel the transport vehicle. The reward is a Lockwood MK2 contraband plus 5,000 XP. One Man Army, infill without any teammates and extract in the same deployment. The reward is the Deckhands Toolbox Key and 5,000 XP. 
team player. Hold up to request to join with two nearby enemy operators. The reward is a double weapon XP token plus 5,000 XP. We then have who's watching. Acquire a tactical camera. Set up a tech camera pointing at the underpass in Rohan Oil. And then snapshot five enemies in Rohan Oil with a tech camera. The reward is the emptiest dash blueprint, the P890 pistol plus 10,000 XP. Black Mouse Tier 2, custom hardware. Deliver one GPU to the dumpster dead drop near the railroad north of the Al Saman Cemetery and deliver four game consoles to the same dead drop and then also extract 20 hard drives. The reward is a clock repair tools key plus 7,500 XP. With an ambition called Base, that's pretty based. Deliver 15 screwdrivers to the dumpster dead drop at the junkyard in the village southeast of Al Sharim Pass. Deliver 20 light bulbs to the Al Sharim junkyard dead drop. And also deliver 5 electric drills to the Al Sharim junkyard dead drop. The reward is the Raw MG contraband and 7500 XP. We have Down and Out. Acquire a raid weapon stash contract and then complete a raid weapon stash contract without any teammates being down. Double XP token and 7500 XP. On rails, kill 28 enemies while on the train. Reward is the SO14 contraband and 7500 XP. Silent killer, kill four, or excuse me, eliminate four HVT contract targets using suppressed weapons. Go ahead and fix that. And then kill 20 enemies using suppressed weapons. The reward is the no leadership emblem and 7500 XP. Weapon case, complete three secure intel contracts, then kill three commanders, followed by extracting one weapons case. The reward is the X-12 Contraband and 7500 XP. Same weapon case from the quest that I covered a little while ago, showing you all seven rewards you can get by extracting with seven weapon cases to get your hands on a chemist skin and even a cool blueprint. We then have Espionage. Enter the Satik Poppy Farmer House and loot the target's laptop. Deliver the laptop to the dumpster dead drop near the train tracks, northeast of the al Samin Cemetery. Plant the hack laptop back in the Satik Poppy Farmer House where it was taken from. The reward for that is the Triage Operator Skin plus 15,000 XP. But now Black Mouse Tier three we have perfection complete a raids weapon stash contract without taking body damage the reward is the m16 contraband plus 10,000 xp quick and dirty complete and eliminate an hvt contract in under two minutes the reward is the crane control room key plus 10,000 xp roof rat kill 20 enemies in almazra city by headshot with a sniper rifle kill six operators in almazra city with that sniper the reward is a fanning wheat one that's a cosmetic plus 10,000 xp Unarmed and dangerous. Infill solo without any weapons. Then Xville in the same deployment without picking up any weapons. That's crazy. Reward. Hacktivist calling card. Plus 10,000 XP as a reward. Vintage uh, Connoisseur. Deliver 20 wine bottles to any dumpster dead drop. And then deliver 11 aged wine bottles to any dumpster dead drop. And then extract 3 vintage wine bottles. The reward is double weapon XP token. Plus 10,000 XP. We then have The Whale. Extract with a single backpack carrying $200,000 in cash and valuables. The reward for that is the XPX80 Contraband plus 10,000 XP. We have Natural Treasure. Locate and loot the first hidden container at the oasis east of Tarak. Locate and loot the second hidden container, and then locate the third hidden container and extract the irradiated drill found inside. Excuse me. The reward is the Endless Night Blueprint, which is the second MG38, plus 20,000 XP. Coming towards the end, we have Black Mouse Tier 4, Paper Shredder. Extract 8 Alcatala planning diagrams. Extract 8 Alcatala planning photos. And then extract 4 pieces of Black Mouse Intel for a reward of the Bryson 800 Contraband and 15,000 XP. Harmful Waves kill 35 enemies with a suppressed designated marksman rifle with headshots in the Zaiwa Observatory at long range, or excuse me, at a range of fewer than 3 meters. The reward for that is the Malze Resort's main building key and 15,000 XP. Eye in the Sky, loot 5 airplane supply drops in one deployment for a reward of the Rat P Contraband and 15,000 XP. Silent and Deadly, kill 50 enemies with a suppressed Fennec with a Fennec Double Tap mod attached. Kill 21 enemies with melee weapons for a reward of a PMC calling card and 15,000 XP. We then have the Golden Rule. Deliver 20 gold bars to the dumpster dead drop southeast of Al Shireen Pass and deliver 13 gold skulls to the dumpster dead drop southeast of the Al Shireen Pass for a reward of a police academy key and 15,000 XP. We have Bullfighter, kill 30 stronghold guards and execute 7 Alcatala soldiers wielding riot shields. The reward for that is the HCR 56 contraband plus 15,000 XP. We have Breaking and Entering, travel to the sewer under al Bagra Fortress, reroute the 7 security devices in under 4 minutes to unlock the System Architecture's container, loot and extract the System Architect documentation, and the reward for that will be the Relentless Operator skin for Rose, plus 30,000 XP. Last and certainly not least, Black Mouse Tier 5, without a trace, kill 31 operators with a suppressed MCPR 300 with a Raptor FVM40 and the SZ1MW PEQ laser attached at long range of 200 meters. The reward is the MCPR 300 contraband and 20,000 XP. 
Information Overload. Extract 24 UAVs, advance UAVs, or counter UAVs. Deliver 35 recon drones to any dumpster dead drop. And extract 20 encrypted hard drives for a reward of a double XP token plus 20,000 XP. The client is king. Complete 8 contracts in 8 unique points of interest in one deployment for a reward of a US Embassy key plus 20,000 XP. Weapons Chase. Extract 3 open cases without dying. And then the reward for that is a Deep Dusk vehicle skin plus 20,000 XP. Kennel. Extract 30 enemy dog tags, and then kill 45 operators with a suppressed assault rifle. The reward for that is the Hacktivist Emblem, plus 20,000 XP. But then coming towards the end, we have Hunting Party. Complete 5 Hunt PMC unit contracts without dying, and the reward is the M4 Contraband, plus 20,000 XP. But then, here's the end. The final challenge for Tier 5 of Black Mouse, Flight Plans. Loot the 3 hacked thumb drives from the dumpster dead drop in the Sarwana, and then in one deployment, plant hacked thumb drives in computers at the air. The reward for this is the Balancing Act Blueprint, which is for the Lockman 762, plus 40,000 XP. Once again, I made separate videos talking about all different quests we have so far in DMZ. One video focused on all the secret rooms and where the keys go and how to use them. There is an updated map that just got posted earlier this afternoon of where all the keys could actually go on the map. When I first made that video, we didn't know where all the locations were for some of those keys, but now we do. So I'll leave all those videos linked down below in this video's description. But yeah, those are all the challenges we know of right now for the five tiers of our three different factions more tiers might be added in future seasons but i feel like there's so much to do already in dmz and there's so many tiers as it is that i don't think infinity War has any plans to add more tiers at least not for a while this will keep us going for quite some time but that is about it this has been dk dynamite leave our thoughts down below in the comment section what are your thoughts on all faction tiers and rewards here in dmz that we have thus far are the challenges too difficult and how do you feel about all the rewards that we have as of now i really hope you've enjoyed and peace out everybody